How's that Leica working out for you with no lens? Bro, let me just take a photo. You ready? <laughs> what? Smile. predictions for Fuji versus Kodak. Mine are going to be all orange, eh? Yours are going to be orange. Orange is heck. How's that? Oh yeah. Check it out. I'm just like trying to squint to see. Trying to... That small HD. At least from this distance no one can tell if we're looking at the camera or at the screen. <laughs> hey, uh... Good to see everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, what happened? <laughs> oh, a cat. Hey. Meow, meow. It felt so weird. Let's just, we can, we can open up like this. <laughs> this is the cat, Anne Boleyn. Uh, she's like, you want it? Put me down. Put me down now, please. All right. Hey, uh, so before we elaborate on uh, our predictions for uh, Fuji Superior Extra versus Ultramax, just thought we'd let you know. <laughs> We're really sorry that this took ages to get out. We filmed it a long time ago. We filmed it a long time ago. I think it was we like filmed... September, was it? Uh, no, 1st of October we filmed it. And uh, that, oh was, my God. that was post lockdown number two here in New Zealand, so that was pretty... So it's like three months ago. Yeah. October, uh, four months. Wait, what are we now? January. Oh, January, yeah, three months. October, November, December. So... Like three months since we filmed it. Yeah, three months. So, um, yeah, sorry for that. So, uh, like, for all you guys in America, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, what else? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. And uh, happy New Year. Uh, we'll just get that all out of the way. Mm. Welcome. 2021 <laughs> you're providing us with the goods so far yeah so once again apologies we didn't get this out sooner it's taken us a while uh, a we, we shot a lot. yeah we got a lot of commercial work that popped in a lot of work. literally the week we filmed this uh, review we got commercial work coming out of ears that took us all the way through to uh, wedding season which was um, really good for us so summer in, wedding season of, still in the middle of wedding season yeah still in the middle these cats are hunting what are they hunting bugs Killing off the butterfly population one by one. Just, get back in the yeah, frame, you get eh? back in the. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good bicep there. So predictions. Well, like, just obviously we know the result. We do. But what? Because we shot this like. Because we shot this ago. ages ago. We've got the scans back. We know the results. But I don't know why. But in my head, because Fuji uses green boxing and green branding, I always have this image in my head that like the film colours are going to come out just that slight tinge of green. Green well, in the shadows. It is like supposed to be cooler anyway. It is, eh? Yeah. No, it's supposed to be a cooler film. So, so I, was, I was thinking that the Fuji was going to be a little bit greener. What were your thoughts? Um, I mean, I was shooting Ultramax. You thought that they were going to be orange? Yeah, I did. I was like, <laughs> everything was going to be orange. Orange film. I haven't, shot, I haven't shot Ultramax in a studio situation before. So I just kind of thought everything oh, yeah, was going to be like yellow. But they yeah. actually came out all right. All right. I'd probably use it again. Without further ado, roll, roll tape.
so we decided pretty early on that we needed to shoot everything using the handheld meter. The camera meter alongside the handheld meter was pretty accurate, but we thought using the handheld meter would be a bit more consistent. Also really good to be able to see a side-by-side -side comparison between an underexposed image with the Fuji and a correctly exposed image with the Kodak. And again here you can see that slightly more greyed out underexposed image on the right with the Kodak. And these two images are really good examples of the low, low Fuji grain versus uh, significantly more grain for the Kodak. It's really interesting, you can see a lot more grain in the top left of the Kodak image and also on the face uh, around about there. Feel free to pause and have a closer look. What did you say your camera was? Thousand F4. Ooh. Now that the sun's gone, thousand at five point six. What about on the shady side of your face? Shady side, F4. Run it up. I used to be quiet and out of luck. Now I move up and move humble cuz they hate in the jealousy. My mama telling me, count up your blessings and run it up. Nowadays, nothing really is nice. Like only one of me and nobody's like me. So, the next couple of shots are really good. They are literally a side by side comparison of how Superior tends toward pink and warm in the mids and highs, and Ultramax tends towards green, mids, and cooler shadows. I got paid to play today. I get paid to stay away. I get paid on rainy days. I might make it rain today. I got paid off pain today. Really deceptive because I keep thinking that the frame lines that are visible. Uh, no, they are 50. Who the real is you might never know. All the stuff that you go play around. Don't even know what I'm talking about. Try you out and then they line you up. Ooh. Now you're looking hungry, ribs are touching, need some food. Now you're all on live acting surprised, but you was fool. Boy, get out the way, it's been a day, now you're old news. And outdoors and bright sun, you can clearly see a big difference between how Kodak renders blues much more vivid and slightly warmer pinks and mid tones. Easy. No, no, please, no photos. Nowadays, nothing really is nice. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's nice. I got wifey, y'all, I'm blinging she. Almost dropped it then, eh? <laughs> Open it up in broad daylight. Yeah. Sick. 
Boom. Let's get that thing developed. Eww. In conclusion, we feel that... I don't know what that was. <laughs> about to do some sort of um, martial arts or something. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Oh yeah, conclusion. If you're looking for a non-expensive mm. 400 ISO film that isn't Portra, because everybody likes Portra, uh, and isn't Pro 400H, yes. rest in peace Fuji, yes. Pro 400H. We will miss you, I love it. Uh, all the great wedding photographers out there that yes. I love following, like some of them have built their yeah. whole folios exclusively on like contact 645 Pro 400H. yeah like a 400h film contact 645 combo pro 400h just a mm. match made in heaven so rest in peace anyway uh, the conclusion is uh for a budget cut price non-portrait non-pro 400h mm. 400 iso film superior extra is the winner if you want to find a grain if you want to find a grain yeah. Superior Extra is the winner. Yeah. If, if you, like you want slightly warmer, yeah, colors, slightly warmer, a little bit more grain than yeah. Ultramax, which I tend to use pretty much all the time anyway. Yeah, it's funny, eh? Yeah. I just like Fuji with the green branding. Mm. I always think greener tones, and it's kind of true in this case. The Superior Extra was just a little bit uh, more dull and maybe a touch warmer in the blue. So that's interesting. Um, yeah. Ultramax for a bright sunny day. I still prefer it. All the time. I'm loyal to Ultramax. I don't know why. I just wow. like it. You like it because I have you, shot superior. You, you love spending 30 bucks on a, on a roll from that's if you buy it. That's if you buy it down the street. Don't do it. Do yeah, like don't it. buy it down the street. It's like $11 you're... a roll. Ugh. That's about it really, eh? That's... That was our result. That's what yeah. we found. What else can we talk about? Okay, next um, video, yeah, um, yeah. we're going to we have another one on, compare. Have another one on the way? Yeah, so I've got one, the last ever roll, my last ever roll of Fuji Atcross 100, the original, the first edition Fuji Atcross. I'm going to compare that with the Fuji film simulation. Atcross simulation, simulation. Nice. in the Fuji X-H1. So look out for that one coming up. Very That'll nice. be an interesting video. It'll be really I'm really keen to see what it's going to look like in terms of whether they nailed it, whether Fujifilm can, do they, you know, do, do, they do their own products well? So I don't know, it's, that'll be interesting, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, uh, ka kite. Bye. <laughs> Bye.